welcome, welcome guys to another edition of uh, From the Bleachers Sports Show. I hope everything's going well for you guys. Uh, do you want to do a quick video, kind of, <laughs> wow, a baseball story that had uh, here, at least uh, being that I'm in that area, here in the uh, New York area, multiple facets uh, a story that uh, that progressed and uh, really uh, changed by the hour and I'm referring to uh, the story of uh, Ioana Cespedes uh, what happened is um, he was at first AWOL AWOL uh, Brody Van went oh check look that back right cool Brody Van Wagenen, um, the Mets staff, they put out a press relief, uh, release saying uh, that they do not know where he was. He was, uh, he, he was supposed to show up to a game, to the game, didn't show up. Mets are playing Atlanta in Atlanta, uh, and he didn't show up. A wall. No one knew where he was. That was as of game time. So initially, uh, you were thinking this, you know, uh, uh, safety concerns. Was the man alive? Uh, you know, what, what, was he uh, abducted? What happened with him? Is he sick? And, uh, you know, uh, and then through the game, uh, you heard that um, it was uh, kind of a... Uh, other issues in that he's safe. Uh, apparently, the, uh, they went into, uh, were able to get access into his hotel room, and uh, he took all his possessions. Uh, so he took up all his possessions and he left. And then we hear, uh, eventually, again throughout the game, that uh, he has decided to opt out. Brody. Uh, Brody Van Wagenen found out through Ioannis Cespedes agent that subsequently Ioannis Cespedes has decided to opt out for the remainder. You know, he decided to opt out for the season. Whew. Wow, a couple of things. Uh, and, and this story, uh, it, it, it kind of uh, reminds me of the story of... Um, uh, to a degree of Vontae uh, Davis. Vontae Davis, you remember, the football player uh, from the Bills who uh, re retired at the half. Retired during halftime. To me, you know, that sent out a message that he quit on his team before the game even was over. Before the game even ended, quit on his team. I don't want anything to do with this. I don't want to help. Uh, you guys, to win this game, I want out. I am done. Now, Vontae Davis had his uh, reasons. We've come to know, you know, through subsequent uh, interviews and whatever you and have, what what have you, what have you. So, however you decide to believe it, you know, that's Vontae Davis. But this is very similar to me. I mean, if you are in the Mets. Uh, like, yeah, I would be appalled. I would be shocked. I would be disgusted by his actions. Now, let me explain. You know, coming into this season, you, you, you were like, all right. You heard, you know, that Cespedes was doing well in spring training. And then you had visions of, you know, Cespedes, Confer Conforto, Alonzo in that lineup. You know, with the DH. Heck, even, you know, even the first game first game of the season hits a home run and you're already thinking to yourself you know uh, maybe maybe the Mets will, should the Mets resign him maybe the Mets should resign him maybe not at the price tag that he was looking for but just maybe look maybe the guy still has it maybe he was on a string of bad luck so that's what you had envisioned for Cespedes in this year and now 
Where is a guy that you've paid so much money to? Where was the communication? Where was the communication? Heck, maybe if it wasn't through a... a even if even if he contacted... Um, Cespedes contacted the... Um, you know, contacted a teammate directly through a text. Okay, fine. Maybe even that is excusable. Even maybe if he, uh, you know, wrote a note, something, did something. But no one knew his actions. Irresponsible. You quit on your team. You quit on your team. didn't go up to them as a teammate and explain to them why you're leaving. Instead, you just abandon them. Now listen, if you're telling me, you know, Cespedes got spooked out because they're, you know, in Atlanta, same place where, um, you know, where the Marlins ran into their situation. They were in Atlanta and the whole team got contracted. Uh, COVID. Maybe you're telling me, you know, he's seen the story of uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, who now has, you know, uh, heart complications because of... Who, who has heart complications because of COVID. Maybe that spooked him out. All right. Then you, you understand. Your health of yourself and your family is most important. That's the important thing. No one is going to knock him for that. It's the way you go about it. The way you went around about it. Now, obviously some communication issues. Could have uh, baseball, maybe a major league baseball, maybe had a better contingency plan as to how they would handle COVID. Maybe they should have done the bubble, like um, you know, like uh, basketball is doing. Maybe they should have done that. Maybe, but still, it's the way. You address your teammates for respect. Not just pick up and leave in the middle of the night. Not even man-to-man -man explaining your situation. Given a ton of money and let's be honest, a ton of money to produce and unfortunately, if you're a Met fan, he really hasn't produced. Now I know he's had injuries. He hasn't really produced. Let's be honest. The Mets also gave him a huge leash. Huge leash. Cespedes, go ahead. You know, keep, uh, keep playing golf. You know, keep playing golf during the season. No, that's not not going to tire your swing. No, go ahead. If that's what makes you happy, keep doing that. Ton of money. And that's how you treat the organization. Now, the Mets have done a ton wrong. They've done a ton wrong. But in this case, like your debt, it's inexcusable. Inexcusable. Through an agent. During the game. During the game. What type of respect? Like, what type of respect? What type of courtesy is that to your teammates when they don't even know what's going on? And here they are, supposed to play a game. How are you supposed to play even a game be to be in the right mindset? They're probably thinking the worst. 
It's not the way you handle business. Uh, uh, listen, probably not, but it's a very well possibility because you, you came into the season thinking that you would see something from Cespedes being, uh, you know, going into a free agency year. You would think you would see something from him. That way he could get that next big contract. Again, COVID. COVID. No one can fault him. No one knows his personal situation. He doesn't want to get sick. Understand. Doesn't feel comfortable. But he could have played. He, he most maybe played himself out of Major League Baseball just by his attitude and his actions. But there's a reason why he's bounced around so many times. Might be a reason. Who, who knows? This might be the reason. You know, Red Sox passed on him. Athletics passed on him. Hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon.